Are you a Proverbs 31 woman? All right, stay with me. Let's figure this out. It says, I can be who God wants me to be. But in order to be who God wants me to be, I must surrender my life to him completely. So Proverbs 31.10 says, Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband does safely trust her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. She is like the merchant ship. She bringeth her food from afar off. She rises also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. She considereth the field and buyeth it. With the fruit of her hands she planteth a vineyard. She girdeth her loins with strength and strengthens her arms. She perceives that her merchandise is good. Her candle goeth not out by night. She layeth her hands to the spindle and her hands does the distaff. She stretches out her hands to the poor. Yea, she reacheth forth her hands to the needy. Number 21 says, She is not afraid of the snow for her household. For her household are clothed with scarlet. She maketh herself coverings of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. Her husband is known in the gates. When he sitteth among the elders of the land. She maketh fine linen and selleth it and delivereth girdles unto the merchants. Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. She open up her mouth with wisdom, and her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also and he praises her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excelleth them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman who feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her in the gates. All right, so we just read Proverbs 31, verses 10 to 31. Amen? There are so many things that could be said about this godly woman. First and foremost, her dedication to her Savior is unwavering. She upholds Proverbs 1 verse 7, which says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. She seeks to bring honor to her husband and not shame. If unmarried, her character brings honor and glory to God. This lady lives her life in a way that she pleases not only the people within her household, but also the people she meets outside of her household. Parents would love, they would honestly hope that their son finds a woman who is just like this lady. She is a lady who will love, respect, and build up her family. Remember, we all have a past, so it's not about where you started, but how it ends. She doesn't rely on her feelings, but she trusts in God's promises. What God says, she believes he will do. This woman, okay, this Proverbs 31 woman, she attends to the needs of her family. Her husband goes out to work, and he is not worried that his wife is busily tearing down all that he is out sacrificing for. Her reputation is of a noble one, which brings peace to her family and joy to her neighbors. She is an industrious worker. She understands that she is a work in progress. 
Daily she surrenders her will to Christ so that he can live out his life through her. She does not neglect the needs of the ones she comes into contact with outside of her household. She treats everyone the way Christ treated the people he came into contact with 2,000 plus years ago. She realizes that her character is the biggest evidence for Christ or against him. She understands that Jesus will judge her based on her motives, so her motives are pure. Remember, man looketh on the outward appearance, but God can see what is going on inside of your heart or your mind, right? So let's repeat that. She understands that Jesus will judge her based on her motives, so her motives, they're pure. The qualities of a Proverbs 31 woman. She is compassionate. She is patient. She is humble. She is forgiving. She is always teaching and she is always willing to learn. She is trustworthy. She is selfless. She is industrious. She assists with love. Amen. 1 Peter 3 verse 5 says, Do not let your adornment be merely outward, arranging the hair, wearing of gold, or putting on fine apparel. Rather, let it be the hidden person of the heart, with the incorruptible beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is very precious in the sight of God. For in this manner, in former times, the holy woman who trusted in God also adorn themselves, being submissive to their own husbands. She finds power in prayer. This Proverbs 31 woman, she is a praying woman. She is continually lifting up her friends, her family, and the strangers she meets up with in the streets in prayer. She hears the cries and rises up early out of her bed to go before God on their behalf. Her time is valuable, so she uses it wisely to uplift, and with a smile, she shares the word of life. She is valuable and adds value to others. She knows her worth to God. The Bible says, she is fearfully and wonderfully made, Psalms 139 verse 14. Her worth is far more than rubies. She is not busily about in other people's business, but busily about her father's business. Someone's opinion of her are just that. She aims to please her creator. Her children feel safe with her. Her children rises up and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excel them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain, but a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Proverbs 31, verses 28 to 30. You too can be a Proverbs 31 woman. She can be you. In order for that to be, you have to give up everything. The way you think, the way you act, and the way you see things. And you must only trust God with all of your heart. You must not lean on your own understanding. But in all your ways, friends, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path found in Proverbs 3 verses 5. On the contrary, the harlot is clothed with precious jewels. Her attire is anything but modest. She is busy on her feet looking for trouble. She can't wait for her husband to leave to dishonor their home. She is unable to keep a secret, but is always busy gossiping. This story that someone shared with me a while back will highlight this woman. It says in Proverbs 7, verses 7 to 23, 
And beheld among the simple ones, I discerned among the youth, a young man, void of understanding. Passing through the streets near her corner, he went the way to her house. In the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark of night, and behold, there met him a woman with an attire of an harlot and subtle of heart. She is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. Now is she without, now in the streets, and lieth in wait at every corner. So she caught him and kissed him, and with an imprudent face she said to him, I have peace offering with me. This day I have paid my vows. Therefore come I forth to meet thee, diligently to seek thy face, and I have found thee. I have decked my bed with coverings of tapestry, with carved works and fine linen of Egypt. I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloe, and cinnamon. Come, let us take our fill of love until the morning. Let us solace ourselves with love. For the good man is not home. He is gone on a long journey. He has taken a bag of money with him and will come home at the day appointed. With her much fair speech, she caused him to yield. With the flattering of her lips, she forced him. He goeth after her straightway, as an ox goeth to the slaughter, or as a fool to the correction of the stocks, till a dart strike through his liver, as a bird hasten to the snare, and knoweth not that it is for his life. As we read that, what came to your mind? Does she sound like a Proverbs 31 woman? Does she sound like she has brought peace? Does she sound as though she is there to uphold her household? Does she look like she has wisdom? Does she sound as though the neighbors love her and trust her and want her around? Hmm. Again, it says, I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloe, and cinnamon. Come, let us take our fill of love till morning. Let us solace ourselves with love. For the good man, the good man is her husband, is not at home. He has gone on a long journey. He has taken a bag of money with him and will come home at the day appointed. With her much fair speech, because she told him that she's alone and that her husband has gone away, she was able to cause him to sin. Now this reminds me of a story in the Bible. Potiphar, Joseph, Potiphar's wife? Yes. My goodness. Joseph could have done anything he wanted with Potiphar's wife. She was easy. Though she had everything her husband had given to her, she had everything, but she was not satisfied. So she became a harlot. Other men may have succumbed to her pleadings, but Joseph stood firm and he said, no, Shall I do this great wickedness and sin against my God? Amazing. We have to teach the youth of today that they need to reverence their creator. And no matter what is going on, no matter who it comes around, no one should take them and turn them into someone that is void of wisdom. Amen? So it says in number 22, He goeth after her straightway, as an ox goeth to the slaughter, as a fool to the correction of the stocks, till a dart strikes through his liver, as a bird hasteth to the snare, and knoweth not that it is for his life. Many people have met a harlot, and instead of them passing it up, 
they let their lust they let their flesh speak instead of god speaking and they run after this ungodly woman this harlot and they end up ill and a lot of people would say to this day if i had only known but after the fact it is too late amen jesus is the bridegroom his church is his bride he is a faithful husband who promises to never leave nor forsake his bride jesus showed her how much he loves his church by giving up his life for her now we have to love trust and obey him the proverbs 31 woman fulfills her obligation to the bridegroom by being pure and undefiled let us be glad and rejoice and give him glory for the marriage of the lamb has come and his wife has made herself ready the wife is the church amen number eight and to her it was granted to be arrayed in fine linen clean and bright for the fine linen is the righteous acts of the saints then he said to me right blessed are those who are called to the marriage supper of the lamb friends do you want to be called to the marriage supper of the lamb i do god is waiting for his bride to make herself ready by shedding sin and putting on his righteousness the qualities of a proverbs 31 woman once again are she is compassionate she is patient she is humble she is forgiving she is always teaching she is always learning she is trustworthy she is selfless she is industrious she assists with love she trusts god with all of her heart she does not lean on her own understanding but in all of her ways she acknowledges god because only he can direct her path amen thanks for joining and may the lord bless and keep you till we meet again